Today, I got to moderate a panel on pediatric trauma. The cutting edge items that we see across the country, and we had four experts in the areas of simulation, penetrating trauma, coagulation, and brain injury. All of these things really brought to bear that we're doing great science, we're learning more about little people, and we're absolutely making a difference in their lives. One of the trends that the researcher from Texas, Dr. Bindi Knight, pointed out is penetrating trauma is on the rise. Gun-related trauma is definitely a major cause of death and morbidity in children, and we're seeing it. It's not a political thing, it's a reality. Today's discussion about penetrating trauma was mainly looking at the global disease, the epidemiology, and some of the finite things that people need to do to sort of deal in the moment. So we talked about operations and how to quickly get to where the bleeding is. So it was very technical, but it was important because we really don't see a lot of this in the pediatric world. We see a lot more in adults, but it's definitely on the rise. And so our simulation expert, Dr. Aaron Jensen, says, you know, we need to practice and be ready. On these catastrophic days when we see these bad injuries, these teams are put together in the spur of the moment. They're at trauma centers, but they really need to practice so that they can have the best outcome in the shortest amount of time. The American College of Surgeons is in the forefront of looking at quality across many different surgical-related diseases, and trauma has obviously been the, the king of the hill. And so simulation adds another spin to this. Are we prepared and are we measuring the impact of education across the country in our trauma centers? I think this is the next big thing.